Now only on News 5, he served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now a local veteran is fighting stateside, refusing to support plans to block refugees from the Middle East. He wants them right here in Cleveland. News 5's Derek Waller is live on West 81st in Cleveland, where plans are under construction right there. Well, Frank, this turn of the century home has actually been vacant since at least the recession. It was scheduled to be torn down at a cost of thousands of dollars to taxpayers. We're going to go inside here. Uh, you can see that they, uh, they have actually almost gutted this thing. A private company has now come in. They are renovating this place from top to bottom. And soon, this home that was going to be torn down could be home to a refugee family. Actually, you can see the porch and you'd be like, that's a dump. <laughs> but this dump will soon be home to a family in need. Daryl Anderson's company, Mustard Seed Development, an intentional play on a parable in the Bible, sprang from his time serving as a Marine in Iraq and Afghanistan. If I wouldn't have gone over there, I wouldn't have had an interaction with um, different cultures. He buys condemned homes, flips them, and rents them out. This was a candidate for demolition. Our philosophy in this business is if everyone's not a winner, we're not going to do it. Here's a nearly finished example just around the corner. Anderson rents to anyone, but word of mouth has made him a favorite in the refugee community. But it's a business model now threatened by President Trump's plans to restrict refugees from several Middle Eastern countries. We are excluding certain countries, but for other countries, we're going to have extreme vetting. It's going to be very hard to come in. Right now, it's very easy to come in. So there's actually a two-year vetting process for every refugee that comes here. This veteran who wants to eventually return to the Middle East and build homes there. Cleveland has a microcosm of those kind of problems. Says President Trump is wrong. I really feel like the, the Bible com really gives us the command to help those who are drastically different from us. And Anderson says he also employs some refugees. This home right here, there's a lot of work to do. It could take about two months to complete. Live in Cleveland, Derek Waller, News 5.